The seven candidates vying to become Cleveland's first new mayor in 16 years will soon be reduced down to two. The results from the primary election are rolling in tonight, and right now three candidates are separating from the pack. We'll take you live to all three of those top candidates' watch parties. All right, here we go. Nonprofit executive Justin Bibb running away with this lead. He's got about 26% of the votes so far, about 2,000 votes ahead of the next biggest vote getter. That would be Cleveland City Council President Kevin Kelly. He's bringing in nearly 20% of the vote. And the party is ending at Dennis Kucinich's camp because the gap is widening between Kelly and the former Cleveland Mayor Kucinich has nearly 17% of the votes so far tonight. Early in-person votes have been counted. Vote by mail ballots are still only partially reported at this hour. And there's still just under 8% of today's voting that still needs to be tallied. News 5's John Kosick been staying on top of the numbers for us all night long. John, live right now at Justin Bibb's watch party. John, good night so far. Good night all the way around for the Bibb camp. Yeah, it, for sure it is, Rob. This is Justin Bibb's first political watch party because, well, this is his first run for political office. And the 34-year-old picked a big one to do. He didn't decide to go all in for city council. He went all in for the top job, Cleveland mayor. And as you mentioned, he is the top vote getter at this hour in the seven-way race to hit those top two vote positions in this race to make that November general election in 49 days. Bibb got into this race. One of the first people to do so did so with the size of a war chest. Did so with a lot of attitude. He was going to change the system and take on the establishment, something he stressed to his supporters tonight they will continue to do over the next 49 days. Nearly uh, 18 months ago, they said that we had to wait our turn. They said that we were too young. They said that we, were, we weren't experienced enough. But tonight we showed you by centering our campaign with the people, we shot the political world into the And if we get this moment right, not only will we shock the state, not only will we shock the country, but Cleveland will shock the world. Now, Justin Bibb had a 2,500 vote lead over the next nearest competitor, Kevin Kelly, who has a 1,000 vote lead over the third position, and that would be Dennis Kucinich at this hour as the votes continue to come in. Kelly optimistic of the opportunity to take on Justin Bibb one-on-one -on -one in November general election, addressing his supporters as well tonight. We are going to work hard to make sure that the city of Cleveland is a Cleveland that we can have if we all work together. We're not going back to the pre-COVID Cleveland. We're going to a Cleveland that we all believe in, where we all prosper, where we all move forward. And as we mentioned, Dennis Kucinich trails Kevin Kelly by about 1,000 votes, but he's not writing this campaign off just yet. Again, there are still a number of uh, absentee ballots that still need to be counted out there, and he is holding out hope that he might be able to, as well, jump into that second position. We're down by about 1,000 votes, and I don't think uh, that we're going to be able to make up that ground. So I just want everyone here to know how proud I am of the campaign that you have all worked on. And again, we have apparently a showdown in November, 49 days from today. Justin Bibb, a political newcomer, 34 years old, against Council President Kevin Kelly, it looks like, for the November general election, the first uh, open seat for Cleveland mayor in 20 years. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kosick, News 5. A lot of work for John Kosick tonight. John, thank you for every bit of it. Another race we are keeping an eye on right now, Cleveland Heights, where voters are choosing the city's first elected mayor in 100 years. Cleveland Heights previously operated under a city manager system, but voters decided to change the city charter in 2019 and elect a mayor. Three candidates vying for two spots on the November ballot. Right now, Barbara Danforth leading the way, 46% of the vote. She is followed by Khalil Sarin, who has 38% of the vote. Melody Joy Hart in third, as you can see, with just over 15%. Now, these aren't the only races we're watching tonight. There are primaries for Cleveland City Council, Garfield Heights Mayor, Lakewood Council, and more. You can find all of those latest results on the bottom of your screen and by going to news5cleveland.com.